everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend Kuros Paladin. And thank you for joining me today. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to showcase off uh, what's been going on at the main production base. So, um, I've done quite a bit of work between episodes, so you didn't have to sit here watching me do it. Uh, there's a hint right there, what I just did. Um, and then... Um, I've got some other things going, but uh, coal is now back up to a total of uh, coal and five cars. So there you go, I have a full train again. Um, and this is how efficient this thing is. I have filled up on um, laterite, and I have filled up on quartz. So I actually shut those two auto thumpers off. Um, and <clears throat> there's just no need for them to run anymore. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to check on my compound one here. So uh, we're going to take advantage of the slight bug where if you just pick it up and then just drop it back down, it goes back to what it was. And same thing over here. Is that an exploit? I guess. And the, I was thinking about it over the weekend. I've mentioned many times how, like, when I load a game, I have to go reset one. And I think I know what's going on. I think the problem is um, it did deplete, or thought it depleted, and that's why it stopped. So uh, I did not go... In, oh, I don't have any auto thumpers anywhere else. Um, I do have one ready to go over on Vasania. And that might be something to do at the end of this episode. So what's going on here? Well, over here, I've decided I'm not going to go looking for uh, portable smelters. So I went through the effort of finding 64 astronium, or mining it, and turning it in for eight uh, portable smelters. And it looks like five is all you really need. Six would be optimal, just in case. But it looks like only five at a time when they're being fed by an auto arm. That's as fast as the auto arm can provide them. I got eight there because the extra three will just be space fillers. And who knows, maybe something will fill up. But this is so much more efficient than the three smelters. It also, as you can see, gives me two tier two slots back. Um, sorry, tier three slots back. Uh, that are, Those are the slots that the... Uh, soil centrifuge and this large canister are sitting on um and that can also be helpful the soil centrifuge i'm sitting i'm leaving there because what i hope is in the future um if i need something it can just supply the the chain the problem is if i pull out com compound resin organic or quartz or uh any of the things that don't get refined, then... Oh, look, the, the compound train showed up. Um, then they get past the end of the production line and they have nowhere to go. But I'll probably, in the future, do something about that and have the soil extractor uh, feed in somewhere else. Uh, I did also notice that there is a bit of a bottleneck with this, but that's okay. Um, it just causes a little bit of confusion down the line, but it's not a huge problem. So, um, so, uh, what else is going on here? So, this is all the laterite that I have, um, wait a minute, where is it? Yeah, laterite right here, uh, even though it says phalerite, so that's just because of how Astroneer does that. There we go. Uh, so there's still 85 left. Plus those 32, plus what's in here, that should be about 400. Uh, maybe a little bit over 400. So, um, But everything is working out really well. My fear is I'm going to have all the raw materials I need, and then I have no need to use this facility anymore. But, oh well. So, I also have three extra large platform C's uh, packed, are packaged and ready to lay out. But I also need to get auto arms and uh, small platform or medium small. What are the what are these ones? Um, 
medium platform A's so that I can chain off of. I also need um, the storage sensors and delay repeaters. That requires zinc and salarite is still coming in ever so slowly. Um, in fact, now that I think about it, I should go check the salarite because that one, the deposit was just nowhere near as um, large as it appeared. Um, so that one tends to deplete fairly easily, quickly. Okay, it's doing fairly good. So right now, oh, and see, this got stuck, and I don't know what's going on. I Only that one seems to get stuck for some reason. Um, maybe this particular rail post is not registering the way it should. This one was having no problems. Um, but this one, oh, that should also be too false now. So there we go. Um, so anyhow, you can see I've got this all shut down because I don't need any more quartz for the moment. Um, I'm just going to leave it there because in the future I may need more quartz. Same with the laterite over here. Um, it is also shut down and just dormant. So, but it is ready to be powered back on at a moment's notice. So, um, so that's salarite that just showed up. That's an extra 32. Of course, that will, uh, oh no, it will just pop right into, uh, here. So, or at least I thought it would. Um, oh yeah, that, that will be a problem. Um, so what I really should do, let's, I didn't think this through, let's swap the ammonium with that. There we go. Um, and then let me pick you up so that you go into there and then pick you up so that you also go into there. There we go. Okay. So that'll get that going. And I thought I... Oh, you little stinker. You little stinker large canister. All right. Stealthily dropping stuff on me. All right. Let's put these back in there. Okay, there we go. So when the laterite is done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing with the salarite so I have plenty of zinc because zinc will be very important. Okay, so uh, I have the beginnings of a little bit of a base here. I have a small printer and a medium printer, um, but I do need to also get the actual production stuff ready. And all that is going to go over here, uh, kind of opposite of this. Um, I may or may not, I have not yet decided, put another uh, junction in right here. I'm hoping uh, I'll raise the land value enough that these, uh, these will move out. Um, so you know, at the end of the event, they should go away. But once they do go away, I'm probably... Oh, here comes the resin! Um, I'm probably going to replace this rail post with a junction and have it come out and then who knows, maybe even another junction, I don't know, but, uh, and then have that junction go off this direction so that, uh, I just have more options above ground. But, I mean, the way that this one already, you can see that curves all the way over to here, I might just leave it the way it is. Because if I do bring it off uh, this way, then it interferes with my base. However, you know, there's no reason why I have to stay at ground level. I could have a junction come over here, go under the base, and then pop back up. But that's all things for later on. Um, for this episode, what I would like to do now is actually start on getting the lithium deposit over on Vasania, getting, uh, exploiting that, basically mining it. Um, so, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to build a rail network over there to do it. There's no reason to. There really isn't. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to do the large platform B, the auto arm, two RTGs, a QT RTG, a medium platform A, and the auto extractor itself. And I have plenty of auto extractors. So, as far as the uh, other stuff, <clears throat> I need to get those built. So, 
what we'll do um, is we'll just uh, steal some resin from right here. One, two, three. Right off the vine. Look at that. Farm fresh resin. Ah, freshly picked that day. Okay, anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and print a large platform B. There we go, get that going. Then I also need a large platform, I'm sorry, a medium platform. Um, oh, darn it. All my farm fresh resin is gone. So now I have to go with the packed resin, the preserved resin. Um, so I need one resin for the platform. And get back over here. Do, 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 do. Medium platform A, there we go. Uh, I also need um, a graphite and aluminum. I think I brought my graphite over here. Um, yep, there it is right there. So I need a graphite and a an aluminum. So what I have to do here, um, I have to do this kind of sneakily, don't I? Uh, well, I guess what I could do is just this, and yeah, there we go. It went over there, which was exactly what I wanted. Oh, darn it. Threw off that one. Alright, well, let's go grab that rogue. Uh, boom, there we go, okay. I'll just hold on to it, right? Here we go, alright. Er, oh, wait, how did I end up with this? Eh? Oh, that's right, okay. We'll put that there, okay. So now we're going to do the auto arm, or print the auto arm. Uh, da, 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 and that's like the third one from the left. Uh, System Era, please, can we break this up a little bit? That's so many darn items there. Um, okay. And this is all going to have to go back to the main base because that's where the shuttle is. Um, so I'll go ahead and drop that there. I just like to have coal on the head end. I don't like dead end, dead ending. I just don't, or dead heading, I should say. Um, okay, so I have my medium platform B. I have my auto arm and my medium uh, medium platform A. My large platform B. I have the large resource canister, um, which was intended to be here, but oh look, I have another one now too. Excellent. So now that that's done. Um, here's what I can do. We're going to swap you out with you, put you over here. We're going to then go ahead and have the sphalerite start spitting out. But we're going to, uh, how do I want to do this? Yeah, we're going to swap this back because if more sphalerite shows up, I don't care. Okay. Um. Yep, okay. And we're just going to do the same thing. So set that to eat mode. Uh, there we go, eat mode. Uh, e, so the way I remember is enable E, eat, disable, you know, uh, whatever. But I just remember E, eat. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then that should just start doing the same thing for the sphalerite. And I should be getting a lot of zinc coming in pretty soon. So uh, I'm really, I'm really... I'm really pleased with how the uh, portable smelters work. Uh, in fact, to me, it almost makes the smelter obsolete at this point. It almost, it really does. But anyhow, let's get back to this. I also need two RTGs and a QT RTG. I'm going to, if I have the space on the shuttle, just steal a couple of RTGs from my base. Um, because now that I've shut down two of the auto thumpers, that's 18U of power, plus the 1U of the car running once in a while, so po potentially 20U of power that I've shut down. Now, just to remind you, auto extractors are 8 and the auto arm is 1, so that's why they're 9 each. And then if the rail car is moving, that's another 1U, so potentially 20U per auto thumper. Um... I also brought back those RTGs from Vasania, which is not Vasania, from Glacio. Uh, Glacio. I gotta be consistent in my pronunciations here. Um, but anyhow, 
Um, I brought those back, so now I'm just going to relocate them. You know, it's funny, I have had this landing pad on there for... Oh my gosh, I've just been carrying that around on that shuttle for a very long time. So, okay, we got that. Um, what I'll do is I'll just throw these in the backpack. I don't need that to go with me right now. Um, so then RTGs. Uh, oh, darn it. There, was, I left one of the RTGs back at the other base. Oh, well. Because um, I actually moved it. But there is one here. And then I'll go underground. Although I just realized I don't have space for two RTGs. So I'm going to have to either print one or... Um, <clears throat> package one. And instead what I'll do is I'll pr print one because I will always need more RTGs going forward. So we're going to do that. We're going to do our cheap uh, graphene. So grab just a small amount of hydrazine. And let's go ahead. I almost have this entirely memorized by now. So here we do graphene. I just don't have the number of ticks to do. Uh, I need, uh, I'm going to need a helium, so drop that off. I'm going to need a nitrogen and an argon. Nope, I don't need the argon because I already have steel. So I just need a nitrogen. Uh, there we go. Um, and I don't need the carbon because I already have the steel. And I need a titanium, which I have right here. Uh, there we go. All right. Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. There we go. Alright. Um, drop that off there. Put you over here. Go way over to here. Titanium alloy. Wants graphene and titanium. Oh, I grabbed derp. I grabbed aluminum. Oh, I don't... Uh-oh. Oh, no! I don't have any titanium here. Erg. Grumble, grumble. Alright, well... I guess I'm heading back. Um, we'll just do it this way. I don't know if it's faster or not, but... So, I forgot. I, I need to stock up the home base. Um, but I don't need the 400 of everything there. This will be the storage and production facility over here. And then as I need, I can take trains with small canisters sorry, medium canisters, to get what I need, so. Uh, how are we doing on zinc? Look at that, 69 already. Um, so, alright, so, um, we'll just take the one for the time being. Alright, so going through mental checklist here, I have the auto extractor, which is back at the home base. I have the auto arm. I have the medium platform for the auto arm. I have the large canister. I have the two RTGs. And I have, I think I already said, the platform for it. The last thing is one QT RTG. That way I'm, I have nine uh, U at that location. And I think I had a QT RTG or two floating around here? Nope. All right. Um, there's two right here, so I'll just grab one of these. There we go. All right. Back over to here. Let's get our titanium alloy going. So, and get that. And then when that's done, get our... Um, I, I could have just left that. Dianocarbon alloy, and then a lithium, which is right there. And there's that. Grab that and that. Oh, backpack full. Backpack, backpack. Um, okay, got those there. And let's go print an RTG. Did it, 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 did it,
And then there's the auto thumper that I'm gonna take. And oh, actually, no, I don't need it. Ha ha! Ah, my brain does sort of work. I have one there already. So, all right. So, last minute inventory check. Starting with auto thumper. You know what? Just because I'm par whoop, whoop. just because I'm paranoid. There's space for it. Okay. Auto thumper. Check. Medium platform A. Auto arm. Check and check. B, uh, medium, large platform B. Check. RTG, RTG. Check. QT, RTG. Check. Uh, large resource canister. Check. Okay, we can do this. Off to Vasania. <laughs> there you are. Oh, 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 can I get to it? Can I get to it? Yes, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. All right. Um... Actually, what I'm going to start with is just the medium platform A and the auto arm and get that situated. I am 99% certain I already had an auto extractor sitting down here. Um, what I don't remember is, did I get tethers to it? Nope. Um, I'm going to need tethers because it's just a bad idea to... Um, you know, not have oxygen, because breathing is good and not breathing is bad, so. So, I gotta go get some compound. And I think I remember this every single time. This is another reason I don't like this planet. Compound seems to be very limited on Vasania. And I say that, and then there is a deposit right over here, but... Okay. I just need one. Okay. Uh, I gotta... Hang on, I'm sorry, our co astroneer Alright, there, I moved her. co astroneer Dax was helping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, whoop. Uh, and I knew it was going to be small printer than to others, and I went right past that. Okay. Let's head back underground. Zoom. And zoom. And it is at the red. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a straight path right to it. Why? Because I can, darn it. That's why. And you'll notice I was nice. I let the uh, whatchamacalls stay, the pop corals stay. So I'm not entirely, you know, mean. I have some respect for the environment, even when it tries to kill me. Or, well, tries to kill my astroneer. That's one thing I always found interesting in games nowadays. Uh, you know, they refer to, you know, the play, you know, like, you know, think of an old school video game, because I don't even think games anymore have lives. Um, but how they say things like, when the player dies, it's like, uh, you don't want the player to die. It's the little character that dies. If your players are dying, you got a problem with your game. Um, but anyhow. So. Alright. So we just made a shortcut. And let's drop some tethers along the way. Uh, boom, boom. And yep, there he is, the auto extractor sitting there. Awesome. Um... Let's smooth this out just a little bit. Um, gosh. 
there. That that's good. And oops, I didn't want to actually pick that up because I don't want to steal from the auto extractor. But that is a really good deposit. I think I'll get my full 400 out of this. So, all right, uh, one last tether so that we can stay set up. And there we go. Uh, lick a popsicle. Okay, bubble gum. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead set down our platform. Put our auto arm down on it. Unpack that. Okay, and then uh, let's grab that. I don't have a storage sensor, so I can't do the little indicator uh, that it's filled, but... Okay, more or less get you centered. That's pretty good. Excellent. Let's lock you into place, hook you up there. Excellent. Um... Put this down there. Okay. And now let's head back up. And grab the other stuff that I need. So I need the large platform B, RTG, and the canister. Okay. I wonder if I set up two auto extra. I mean, I have... Oh, I don't have the power for two of them, though. Okay. So, I'm gonna cheat. Um, I'm gonna make one trip. So, we're just gonna set everything down. We're gonna set that to eat mode. I'm gonna take this. There. And the other RTG that's packed. And drop that off. Excellent. And let's take this down, down below. Don't mind that, you know, it doesn't fit. Just ignore that. Pay no attention to the massive clipping. Okay. Now I gotta set this down where the auto arm will get it to the large canister. So my target is right about there. Um, yep, that'll do. It could be a little better. And my OCD is going to kick in, so we're going to make it just a little bit better. And there, okay. Hook that up so that there is power. Lock that into place. That one is locked into place. Start you up. Start you up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, enough of that. Don't want to get, you know, a strike. Okay, and I just want to make certain it works, which means I need to wait for two to come out, because the first one is going to go on here as a filter, just in case this picks up something other than uh, lithium. <clears throat> I can't remember where it was. Um, I think it was that ammonium deposit right next to the home base, where... I, I didn't see any resin there, and I set down the auto extractor, and it's like, boom, wow, it was almost as full as this. And I go ahead and start it up, and what does it start pulling out? That's right, resin. And I'm like, where the heck is the resin? So I had to keep moving it around just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, until finally, okay, now it's picking up the, the ammonium. So, all right, so just wait for this to get through one more cycle. And we're going to be on our way to getting plenty of lithium. Uh, that means at this point, uh, the only other raw ones I need to, uh, raw resources I would have to pick up are uh, copper slash malachite, tungsten, and let's just look at the astropedia. So, uh, astronium, maybe that'll be a low level. But I've got plenty of iron, I've got plenty of aluminum, I have, this is what I'm doing right now. Malachite will have to come up organic, there's no way to auto-mine that. Quartz, we're set, resin, it's going, sphalerite is going, titanite, got it, wolframite, I'm going to deed. So, wolframite, malachite, and lithium. Uh, also, clay. So these will be the next four, well, the next three, this one's going, so one, two, and three. 
uh, will be the next three that I go after. Uh, that did pick one up. So that is set. So we've got our lithium going, and that is awesome because that means I can print out a ton of RTGs now. Um, we need like a large RTG or a cold fusion reactor or something that pumps out, I don't know, something like 24U or something like that. Uh, maybe 24 is a little bit on the high side, uh, but 12U or whatever uh, just pumps out an insane amount of power, uh, but reliable power. So anyhow, I think I've been gone for just about 30 minutes here. So everybody, I hope you had a great time. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, I will see all of you in the next episode of Astroneer. Take care and bye.